Everett tonight and during the day in the Cascades and east of the Cascades, along with the chance for more thunderstorms. I'm Cairo 7, Pinpoint Meteorologist Nick Allard. And right now it is cloudy and 66 degrees in downtown Seattle. I'm Ursula Royteen. Listen on your smart speakers. Amazon, Google Home, and Apple HomePod. Cairo Radio 97.3 FM. News and talk. Powered by the Pacific Northwest. The Big Lead is brought to you by 3010 Weight Loss for Life. The Dory Monson Show on Cairo Radio. This is The Big Lead. we got a very busy afternoon. Welcome to the big show. Coming to you from the Carter Subaru studio, streaming on Facebook Live. We are going to break an exclusive news story that, again, shows the turmoil at the top of King County government. Do that in just a moment. Want to quickly mention... Because they are going fast. If you were not listening at 1 o'clock yesterday, if you're just a noon hour listener, we did announce uh, a few months ago, we first did our first ever live show, this little, this little one-man show that I've put together that kind of celebrates the remarkable people who have uh, just shaped my career and also the goal setting that I think is so critical to success in life. We announced another live show, and this time we wanted to reach out to all of our listeners down in South King and Pierce and Thurston County and wherever you might be in the South Sound area. It is going to be on September 13th. That's a Friday night at the Federal Way Performance and Event Center. Gorgeous facility. Big venue. Almost double the size of our last one, because we want to give everyone a chance to, to come and see the show. And we still have tickets available. So if you want to uh, come and join us on a Friday night, what is that, about a, less than two months from now, i got to get back to work on this thing. It's going to be on a Friday night, September 13th, Federal Way Event and Performance Center. You can get tickets if you go to mynorthwest.com slash events. We've got a link right there for you to get your tickets for our second ever live show down in Federal Way. So I'd love to see you there. And afterwards, we hang out in the lobby and get a chance to meet everybody who attends and take pictures and all of that stuff. So come and join us and uh, get your tickets right now. MyNorthwest.com slash events with that as mere prelude. Let's get to a Dory Monson Show exclusive. The Big Lead, Dory Monson Show exclusive. Things are very busy at the King County Ombudsman's office right now. And that is because we've got some turmoil at the top of King County. We have well chronicled what's been going on with County Executive Dow Constantine, a womanizing, drinking abuses his executive protection unit detail. He uh, ships people who have already been adjudicated for deportation. He won't allow Boeing Field because he threatened businesses with losing county contracts. So the uh, detainees have to be bused to Yakima now so he can engage in that little bit of political theater. Uh, The latest with Dow is... The allegation from a former King County County Parks director that Dow Constantine influenced concession contracts to go to his buddy and campaign donor, David Minert, a guy who's been accused by 11 women of sexual misconduct, sexual assault. Some have accused him of rape. That's Dow Constantine's buddy. And uh, Dow Constantine allegedly funneled millions of dollars in concession contracts to David Minert, the Seattle restaurateur and and nightclub guy, who, again, has all of those accusations of sexual assault, sexual misconduct against him. So that's what's going on with Dow. And the Ombudsman's office has that because you and I, the taxpayers, we paid off that whistleblower $275,000 if 
he would drop it and tell the ombudsman's office to not pursue investigating this. Why would Dow, and, and there's a quote in the Seattle Times story, that Dow thought the payoff was a little large, a little surprising. Well, I have information that Dow Constein had to personally approve that $275,000 payoff to try to keep quiet a whistleblower. So the ombudsman's office says they're going to have the results of that investigation against Dow Constantine sometime in the next month or so. What we are breaking today is a different story about a different King County top executive. And it is Sheriff Mitzi Johanknik. Uh, the Dory Monson Show can confirm that the King County Ombudsman is looking into a complaint that Mitzi Joe Hanknick gifted well over $10,000 in tax money to her undersheriff, Scott Summers, because he wanted to carry over extra vacation beyond what is allowed. And the reason that Joe Hanknick is approving this is more than a little disturbing. So we have obtained all of the documents that the Ombudsman's Office, our source has uh, provided us with everything that the Ombudsman's Office is looking at right now. But the allegation is, if you are a, in, a King County employee, the maximum number of vacation hours you can carry over is a mind-blowing 480 hours. Now, I don't know about you, but here at Bonneville, at Cairo Radio, we can carry over a maximum of two weeks vacation from year to year. Use it or lose it beyond the two weeks. And in almost every year of my career, I have forfeited vacation hours because I have not used all of my vacation over the course of a year, and I've carried over the maximum two weeks pretty much every year, but uh, I, that's it. So we, we're allowed to carry over 80 hours. In the sheriff's office, you can carry over 480 hours. Well, Scott Summers, he had a request. And he made this request in 2017 when uh, Mitzi Johanknik's predecessor, John Urquhart, was still the sheriff. And uh, he asked to carry over 24 hours, or I'm sorry, 176 hours beyond the 480. So he wanted to carry over 654 hours of vacation. That's 16 weeks of vacation. On December 6, 2017, that request for the excess carryover was denied. And what the undersheriff, Scott Summers, was told... Captain Summers had ample opportunity to use excess vacation during 2017, including carryover from 2016. All command staff are expected to manage their vacation so excess vacation is not accrued. Now, this is already just a ridiculous benefit for, that government workers get because what they do is they will carry over the maximum until the end of their career, and then they get paid off for their unused vacation. So it's a way, with all of the other incredible benefits and pension that you receive as a government employee, 480 hours is a way for you to get an extra 12-week payoff from the taxpayers. Now, for a lot of these workers... That's a, a twenty-five, thirty, forty thousand dollars because they can carry over four hundred eighty weeks right up until the time of retirement. It's just another way for government to scam the taxpayers, but the scam deepens dramatically 
with Scott Summers and Mitzi Johanknik because he made another request to carry over 144 hours the following year, last year, in other words. And Mitzi Johanknik approved it. So why? Why, if county policy is you are not allowed to carry over more than 480 hours, why did Mitzi Johanknik approve it? Well, she sent a letter to the office of the Ombuds, dated December 6th, 2018. And she said that she was concerned that the guy's previous request to carry over more than $10,000 in excess vacation. She said, I, I'm concerned because he supported me and not my predecessor, and I think my predecessor retaliated against him. But here's what Mitzi Johanknik wrote as to why she gifted more than $10,000 from the taxpayers to this guy, Scott Summers. She wrote... Scott Summers not only encouraged my candidacy, he openly supported me during my campaign. He provided strategic support and advice, and frankly, some of the concerns that were raised during the election were critical of decisions and actions by the former sheriff. And then she wrote, had he not been supporting my candidacy and transition planning, I believe Summers would give him more than 10,000 taxpayer dollars? The Ombuds office says that they should have the results of their investigation in the next week or two. But I don't have a lot. I, I don't know anything about the Ombuds office. I don't know anything about the people in the Ombuds office. I know a lot about the upper workings of King County. And much of King County government, like most governments, is constructed just to extract as much money from the taxpayers and to give it to the politically connected and powerful. But to say that you're going to violate county policy that prohibits vacation carryover because the guy was too busy working on your campaign to take vacation... I'll tell you something else I've obtained. I have a spreadsheet, 108 employees in the sheriff's office had excess vacation in, uh, to, at the end of 2017. Some of them, they have something called a leave donation form. So you can donate your excess vacation to, say, a coworker who has a long-term illness. Um, as far as I can tell, only one other excess carryover was granted, and that was about 12 hours. That's about it. But the undersheriff gets to carry over 144 hours on top of the 480, 624 hours. And the stated reason by the supervisor who granted that is that he was too busy working on my campaign to take vacation. Does that sound like being a steward of tax dollars? Does that sound responsible? Or does that sound really shady and cronyish? Right at the top of King County government. I would suggest for your consideration that it is the latter. But sadly, this is consistent with the emerging picture of Sheriff Mitzi Johanknik. I talked to a cop last night who told me that morale in the sheriff's office is horrible under Johanknik. I've talked to people who have been in meetings with her. You know, I've only once in my career 
as a government watchdog, only once have I come right out and labeled somebody as completely incompetent and over their head, and that was Scott Cobley when he was running Seattle Department of Transportation. Uh, How and why could I do that? Well, I had people, great sources, trusted sources, who had been in meetings with him and who told me, described exactly, and backed up how absolutely incompetent and over his head Scott Kubley was. And obviously I was proven to be 100% accurate with that. So this is not an allegation that I throw out randomly and often. But the emerging picture of Sheriff Joe Hanknick, there are shocking shortages of deputies on the street. They have so many job openings right now in the King County Sheriff's Office that public safety is at great risk. And I've had multiple sources that I trust who have simply told me that Sheriff Joe Hanknick is incompetent, over her head, as arrogant as they come, uh, rarely attends public meetings, and that all of that is consistent with this report that's being decided right now by the Ombuds Office that she would gift over 10,000 vacation dollar hours to a guy because he was spending so much time working on her campaign the previous year. That's not how politics is supposed to work. Now, that's how politics does work. But for the rank and file, for the cops on the streets, for the ones who, you know, and I, I know some great men and women who work for the King County Sheriff's Office, and it's a tough gig, and most of them had to forfeit their excess vacation. But the big dog who worked on the sheriff's campaign, he gets uh, you, and, you and me to gift him over $10,000 in excess vacation. We'll keep you posted. As I said, the Ombuds Office is supposed to release its results in the next week or two, but they're staying very busy with the investigation of Dow Constantine, the $275,000 payoff to a whistleblower. Constantine allegedly shuttling millions of dollars in concession contracts to an accused serial sexual molester. And now the sheriff... Mitzi Johanknik, her department in chaos right now, and she's given our tax money to a crony because he worked on her campaign. Now we'll see what the Ombuds comes up with all of this. That is a Dory Monson Show exclusive, and that is our big lead this hour. The big lead on Cairo Radio. Because I want to go in-depth on that for you, I am going to continue with more Big Lead stuff right after Ursula checks the news as we get rolling here on the Dory Monson Show. This hour of the Dory Monson Show is brought to you by 